Hi YouTube, my name is Rachel and I'm currently the mom to one sweet little baby girl, Taylor, who is currently six months old. And today I'm going to be reviewing for you my Jujube Be Prepared Bag. Alright, this is the Be Prepared Bag and I don't have it packed so if you would like to see a packing video please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below that you're waiting for that. Um, a packing video. So I'm just going to go over this bag. Um, when I was first pregnant and shopping for diaper bags, I know that I am an overpacker and I did want a Jujube bag and this was definitely the bag that I wanted because um, it is the biggest um, diaper bag. Um, and you know, I'd seen some friends and I was comparing um, the Be Prepared and the BFF and um, I went with the Be Prepared. Um, when I was first shopping bags, I was comparing the Be Prepared and the BFF and I went with the um, Be Prepared. I have since bought the Be Right Back backpack and um, there will be a link to that um, video review and packing and that has since become, the Be Right Back has become my number one diaper bag for every day. The Be Prepared I still do like and I still did use a ton when she was a newborn and we'd go over um, to grandparents for the day. So anyways, the same with my other video. I'm going to start at the front, might work my way to the back. So this is the front of the back. You've got your two handles that you can carry it with. You've got your messenger strap. The bag does come with the messenger strap. They do sell it separately, but um, if you buy the Be Prepared it comes with it. And front of the bag, you've got your mommy console first that unzips completely all the way. So, um, and it is attached right here on the sides, so everything doesn't just fall out. There's room for pictures of your little ones. You've got these compartments here. Um, again, I have a bunch of loose change down here that's fallen out of my wallet, and it's not falling out because um, there is some more room down here. There's some mesh pockets. There's a space for your sunglasses, another little pocket, a zipper pocket right here, and a clip for your keys. Um, I use um, a hobo wallet that I just would stuff in here. Other things that I would throw in here could be like hand sanitizer and lotion. And again, this zips all the way up right around um, and then there right behind the mommy console is um, a, a deep 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 pocket and this pocket is nice to just throw things in <laughs> if it, um, this was the pocket that I would just always be like throwing random stuff in you know as you're leaving you're grabbing this that whatever um, this is my random pocket it does have a little um, I don't know what you call this but like button Kind of thing where it snaps a snap let's call it a snap it has a snap right here I did have a problem all the time even when there was nothing in here with this um, this snap coming undone and so you know you have your bag all packed and then this would snap off and it would like kind of hang open and look a little messy not as clean as I would like this bag to look since it does have really nice lines on it um, so there's that. Um, so then moving next is the meat of the bag. It's got this zipper that, um, it comes kind of in like a D shape right here. So it makes kind of like a D shape. So the zipper, you kind of have to work up and around. Um, so there's two of them, so you can, you know, only unzip one. The nice thing about the way they've done this is even if you do have it unzipped, it's not gonna flop totally open um, because it's got these little panels on the side right there. So again, the meat of the bag, you've got organizing pockets galore. So you've got um, a nice pocket on the side right here, more mesh, um, a smaller one, a bigger one. Um, same thing over here on the side. You've got mesh, you've got mesh all the way around. I have like boogie wipes hidden in here. I've got a little thing of formula and um, you breastfeed, but I have a little thing of formula just in case. Um, and this is like the meat of the bag. So it's huge in here. When I would go over to my mom's house for the day when she was a little teeny tiny baby, I would pack like multiple receiving blankets in here 
um, multiple outfits, diapers for days, um, an extra shirt for me, like everything you want. Like this is really an overnight bag. Um, it, like for day to day, it is huge. If you are an overpacker, I mean, you can stuff this with like everything in your home. Like <laughs> you could take in this bag. So it's huge. You know, it does. If you're not carrying that much in here, it does kind of zip up and come together. Um, but if you're carrying a lot, I mean, it expands. It expands. You can carry like a whole like family in here. So, this bag is great if you just want to like stuff it full of like everything you own. It will fit in this bag. So, again, we have the messenger straps on the side right here. You have two um, insulated bottle pockets, and also the inside is lined with that um, antimicrobial lining. And then the sides, you have two uh, bottle um, pockets that are insulated. And they do have this nice um, magnetic closure, so that's kind of nice. Um, I would, I have an iPhone 6, and I used to put it in the side here a lot because um, we don't carry bottles. Like I said, we're breastfeeding, so um, I would put my iPhone 6 in here, and also in one of the sites I used to um, put like if I didn't bring a diaper like trash bag with me, sometimes I put a dirty diaper in here. Um, then now we have the last pocket in the back of the bag and again it's got that snap thing and again my snaps were always coming loose you can hear like I don't know if you can hear that but it like pops open with not much so if I had the meat of the bag like stuffed this would pop open a lot of times um, so it, this is where you have your um, changing pad and this changing pad is bigger than the changing pad in my um, Be Right Back backpack and um, I think it is at least I should compare. Let me go compare. Okay, I was right. So uh, changing pad and my Be Prepared, changing pad and my Be Right Back. So you can see that the um, Be Prepared is a little bit wider. However, it looks like the Be Right Back is a little bit longer. So, um, yeah, you can kind of see that there. So they're different sizes for sure. Um, I haven't purchased just a changing pad for them, so I wonder what the dimensions on that are. That's kind of interesting. So, anyways, um, here's the changing pad. It folds up and it fits back here um, perfectly. Um, there is still room in here for something else if you wanted to throw in a beat quick or um, a lot of times this is where I would store my Bye Bye Baby coupons. That is a good pocket for that. Um, attached separately that does not come with the bag is the Passy Pod. Um, so if you're going to be carrying pacifiers, I recommend you invest in a few of these because they're so great. Um, so here it is, people. Those, the giant Be Prepared bag. This is in the Queen of the Nile print from their Legacy line and it is just huge, gorgeous, I love the gold hardware. Again, this bag is 100% machine washable. You can throw it in your washing machine. I love that feature. It's so important when you're carrying around dirty diapers and, you know, maybe food for yourself, food for your baby. Um, it's awesome. It washes up. It looks brand new. It also has these gold little feet on the bottom. Um, and they've gotten a little um, scratch. I'm kind of surprised at how scratch they're looking considering I've only been using this bag since like we didn't leave the house for four weeks so like since April I've been using this bag and it's September now and I really um, haven't used it too much um, so really I only use the bag for maybe like three months so um, I'm surprised there's any wear or tear at all on the feet because we really didn't leave that much so this is the be prepared I did have a problem with um, the zipper pull on the top it came off um, and it's just because the little ring on here got loose, it came apart, and G I wrote GGB and they did send me out a new zipper pull. It took um, a couple months for them to do that, but they did finally send it to me. Um, so, 
if you do have problems with your bags, GGB is like a real company and you can like talk to a real person. They email you back right away. Um, so that's great. So um, if you have any questions about this Be Prepared bag um, or how I use it and would like to see a packing video, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to connect with you. And if you like this video and would like to see more, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.